Part two of my talk with AG Jeff Sessions at issue, the consent decree and alleged reforms in the Baltimore PD after the Freddie Gray case. Take a look. You have this consent decree, and the, the success of the decree depends upon polling in Baltimore and other cities. How do you assess the success of police in a consent decree by polling it in Baltimore and maybe Detroit? That is a, just a, one of the examples of some of the very unwise provisions in that 200-page decree that now a federal judge is basically overseeing the, the police department of uh, uh, Baltimore. It's, and the city of Baltimore fought for it. Baltimore uh, uh, started adopting some of these liberal policies even before the decree became in effect. Mm -hmm. and they disciplined police officers. They curtailed their normal proactive policing out on the streets, the broken windows like in New York. All of that was eroded. Uh, arrests went down 37 percent, mm -hmm. and assault, firearm uh, assaults, uh, shootings went up a double, 100 percent increase in mm -hmm. shootings. Mm -hmm. When you take the police off the streets, you tell them you don't want them out there patrolling, talking to people, m doing the squeegee guys and the, and the small crime uh, toughs and thugs <laughs> and, and confronting them and dealing with them, murders go up. And we should not have any decree on the police department that eliminates constitutionally proven, accepted uh, policies that save lives. We, and that these decrees, some of them do that. A couple of the issues, the police can't detain people in a high crime area or in proximity to a crime. So if there's been a robbery or let's say a homicide, you can't detain people in the vicinity at that point in time. That's lunacy. You have to get written consent for a search. You have to get permission from a supervisor before you make an arrest. You can't, you can't make a trespass arrest. Let's assume you got an old age home and you got some guy in there who's selling drugs. You can't make an arrest unless somebody makes a complaint about a trespass. Who is making this? Is this a joke? It's uh, it's really incredibly bad, and it, it's so illogical. You've just laid it out. This so much of this is so illogical that it demoralizes the police yeah, officers. Sure Why should they go out there and put their neck on the line, walk the streets, and confront some of these people that are dangerous, mm -hmm. and try to find out what they're doing and do their duty that is proven to work? That's working in New York and other cities where they have these kind of proactive policies, uh, and, and constitutionally, I just don't understand it. So we've got to reevaluate what's happening. We've got to support our police. If police are make mistakes, if if they violate the law, they have to be prosecuted. We'll not hesitate to do this. We're not going to allow the civil right. rights of anybody right. in this country. But I'll tell you one thing, it's not just and it's not uh, a legitimate rights situation in which poor people and minorities have crime rates in their neighborhoods many times higher than in other neighborhoods. The police departments have to provide public safety in every neighborhood, and they have to arrest the people that are causing violence and drug dealing in those neighborhoods. That's just the basic facts. What do you think is going to be the most difficult problem that you're going to have to address as Attorney General? Well, crime is, is our challenge. The goal of this administration is to reduce crime in America. We had a 10.8% increase in murders last year nationwide. It's the first big jump we've seen. That's the biggest since 1960s, I believe. And it's gone up again this year. Uh, so he said we want to reduce crime. That can be done, Judge. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. We've had a good 30 years of reducing crime, but that's popping back up significantly. Uh, so that's a big part of it. He also issued an order to crack down on these transnational organizations, these mm -hmm. criminal organizations, the cartels and the MS-13 gangs, and we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. And that will reduce a lot of violence in America. Mm -hmm. And we have to work with our local police departments. Yes, absolutely. They have 85 percent of the officers are state and local. Mm -hmm. They're the guys on the street and women on the street that are protecting us. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to rebuild a relationship between the federal government and the police so we can partner. Mm -hmm. And also, you mentioned the communities themselves. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was United States Attorney in Alabama, and we had a meeting with the neighborhood that had a high crime rate, they wanted a police precinct put in the neighborhood. And the mayor and the chief of police said, yes, we'll do it. And crime rate went down, and they were happy. They, uh, overwhelmingly, the people in these poor neighborhoods are not criminals. They're good and decent people. They want to be protected from criminals. All right, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, it's both an honor and a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.